And the computers of the U.S. Customs and Border Control Department appear to be down. We are hearing that this is a nationwide outage, but that computers are slowly coming back online. Now, officials say uh, it is affecting airports in Atlanta and Miami and most likely many others. Customs officials are manually processing international passengers at the moment. CNN aviation analyst Mary Schiava is joining us now on the phone. Uh, Mary, what do you make of what, what this outage? Well, it's, uh, it's deja vu all over again, as they say, because in October 2015, they had one like this that lasted for 90 minutes. In that case, they were blaming it on some interface with some additional equipment they were bringing online. Um, like say a year ago, October, they got it back online within 90 minutes. But this is coming as, as people are coming home from uh, holidays and, and the travel today is particularly heavy at the wrong time. Now, they say they're going to do it. They're going to check people in manually but it's very difficult because now everything is computerized and online. So I would expect that, that people coming in can possibly be waiting for the computers to get back up. It, obviously a huge inconvenience for travelers who have to uh, be delayed and wait as uh, these things are being processed manually. But do you see any security issues from this outage? Well, uh, not unless the uh, rush and the urge to process people manually causes them to overlook their typical checks. It's really horrible for uh, passengers because, you know, a lot of us have, have purchased and have paid money for the, uh, the global access and right. the speedy way through customs. And with the computers down, it's those very people who will have the slowest time because all of us with those kinds of cars just breeze through and you do everything electronically. And you do it yourself, really. You check mm. yourself in. To the country. But uh, yeah, certainly there's a security risk if they aren't really able to check and fully check people coming in and there's a pressure to skip the checks. And that's going to be particularly difficult. Also, the computers allow them to match names with the databases and the watch list. And so the computer plays lots of functions aside from just speeding us through the airport. That's where the databases are stored. So yes, if they're pressured to skip those checks, there could be security issues.